All right, guys, uh, middle of March here. We are at uh, Wright Testing here in Atlanta, Georgia, and we're gonna be doing some burn tests this afternoon. Um, this is gonna be a uh, informal burn test this morning that we're doing, or is this an actual yeah, this is a certified? So this is a sample burn, and uh, this is being witnessed by an authorized agent that's going to uh, watch us open the drums. He's going to certify what's in the drums. He's going to check all the temperatures. Uh, he's going to watch the product sprayed. We have some test boards inside. We'll be spraying those in just a few minutes. Uh, but everything is under scrutiny here. And uh, this is what happens to your phone prior to you ever getting it. And uh, reading the, uh, the data and the information that's on these data sheets this is where all this happens. So hang on guys, we'll show some spray in here in just a few minutes. All right guys, we're back. We are setting up these panels now. They've got six panels. They're gonna spray some foam on. This is preliminary testing on some product. This is kind of the steps to how we get to the product that you end up spraying. We're in a testing facility here in Atlanta and this is being monitored by Intertech as well and we'll be spraying here in just a minute all right guys so we sprayed a couple patties just checking density he's cut these blocks here he's going to get a measurement on them i don't know exactly what his calculation is but uh, maybe we'll learn something here real quick hang on He's going to take multiple measurements on this block that he cut. He's taking uh, roughly three measurements across the block and he'll average those three results uh, that he's getting off his calipers. So is this sample one? This is block one. He's uh, going to go ahead and get a weight on this. He's got his measurements. See over here, we've got some uh, accuracy of temperature. May play a role in this. Learning something here today, boys. So there's the block that he uh, got his calculations from. You see his measurements he put there. I can't really show you what his spreadsheet looks like. It's probably pr proprietary, but uh, came up with a density of about a 2.14. We're gonna take another shot at this in a minute and um, see if we get another result. We're after 2.8, that's what we're chasing. All right guys, we're making progress here. Just doing some flash coats on these panels. Trying to get an inch and a half roughly. Total thickness. And we'll keep plugging away, stand by. All right guys, we're about two hours uh, into this. He's coming through here and marking the depth of these panels. We know the density now, we're spraying somewhere uh, real close to three pounds. Should be 2.8 pound foam. So we're somewhere between 2.8 and three. He's getting multiple measurements on these panels very precise process here uh, i never knew it was this time consuming but uh like i said we're here to educate you kind of let you see how this whole process is done and what goes into your final product when you buy it and it shows up at your front door all right guys these are some uh, different panels going to represent a roof deck they're going to do a different type of a burn on this. They actually place this on a pitch and they shoot a fire up the end of it, I guess. We won't be around to watch them do it. Uh, these get shipped off to another location. But this is the preparation of how foam is uh, tested as far as fire and flammability. And it's a pretty interesting process. This may be the end of my video on this uh, process. I'll bring you guys in on anything else that uh, we find interesting. Take care, guys.
All right, guys, here we are, round two. We're doing some roof decks, spraying some AccuFoam, creative polymers, roofing foam. And we had to get AC plywood without knots in it because my understanding, the knots accelerate the burning and these panels are all gonna get burnt probably in the next few weeks. Once this is done, we're gonna put some coating on them and they'll get shipped out of state to a burn facility. All of this is being documented by camera. You'll see it down there just past the panels. Everything's being recorded for Intertech so they can witness the spray and the whole testing procedure. I want to show you guys the first product we sprayed the other day was a competitor's product. What I'm noticing today, how much better this skin looks. A lot nicer finish than the uh, competitor's product. I can't name them for obvious reasons. But we're doing multiple passes here, which helps with the fire testing. Probably not a real world application, but this is what we got to do to get through testing. And it's kind of an industry standard. All right, guys, we're finishing up these panels. This is Creative Polymers Roof Foam, AccuFoam Roofing, about a 2.8 pound density. You see how it browns out, turns creamy. It's a very, very nice skin to it. Very smooth, very glossy. You see that right here in these other samples. We're trying to get to two inches in multiple passes because I guess it burns better the way I'm understanding the testing and just an interesting process to make sure you guys get good foam hours and hours and a lot of money spent to do this type of stuff you see it firsthand a little different angle here guys panels have been sprayed They've been certified uh, by the inspection agency here that's doing the pre-testing type stuff. They want to know the R value, what chemistry it is, how the deck is put together, what class we're trying to get these tested for. And these will get packed up and shipped off to a facility that will do the testing know what the results will be uh, within the next few weeks so we're flashing in these seams you'll see these panels here have uh, some tape on them just to fill in the seams and we're gonna see how these burn in the next month or so a new foam that Creative Polymers is trying out, doing some testing, zero ozone depleting, and this is the 22nd panel of the day, ending up over there all stacked up, been spraying all day, these are very time consuming, but this are the, these are the steps that uh, manufacturer takes to ensure that you get good product.